Well, everyone, there is an iPhone out there that I genuinely don't think anybody ever even thinks about wanting. But also, I'm actually surprised because the variants that I'm going to specifically talk about are just such bad deals that I just wouldn't even recommend anybody even rec even thinking about buying this type of device. Now, we all know the iPhone SE third generation, definitely not the best phone of all time. And some of you may know that this is not my favorite iPhone. I think this was a very weird choice from Apple. But the weird thing is, is that if you actually take a look, you know, first of all, I don't think I've ever seen an iPhone SE third generation out in public. I don't think I've ever seen them outside of the Apple store and maybe Walmart if I've seen one there. But the other big thing is, for the most part, I've never really heard people wanting to buy this iPhone, at least in recent times. Very rarely have I heard people talk about the iPhone SE 3 even online, but on top of that, in public, I've never heard anybody ever mention even one time that they were planning on buying the iPhone SE. However, the iPhone SE third generation starts at, you know, 64 gigabytes for $429. But if you wanted to buy that 256 gigabyte iPhone SE 3, you are having to spend $579 on an iPhone SE 3. There is probably so many other iPhones I would recommend buying over that specific device at that price tag. For example, if you wanted to, you could probably buy an iPhone 13 in the used market, maybe not the 256 gig variant, but at least the 128 gig variant for less than $579, probably all day you could do that. The iPhone 13 mini, brand new from Apple, costs $599, and that one starts at 128 gigabytes, not as much as the iPhone SE 3, but that's still a really big deal. So it's so weird to me because every single time I see like a brand new iPhone come out or I see, you know, any new variants of an iPhone, like a new color scheme or whatever, I just am always surprised about these older iPhones and these price tags of them because I'm just wondering like who's buying them. Now, if you want, if you spec out an iPhone SE 3 for 256 gigabytes, if you, you can actually get this thing delivered or bought all day. There's very like, there's tons and tons of these phones available. We all know that these things haven't sold that well anyway, but if I order this thing today, I could probably pick up, I mean, I'm getting a delivery tomorrow if I want to. I can also get it, you know, picked up, you know, at my store here, the local store here too. So there's a few options. There's a lot of options I basically have of buying this iPhone. There's never going to be a delay because nobody really wants this iPhone. So I think what I'm trying to say is there really isn't any reason why anybody should be buying something like an iPhone SE 3 as of this day and age. You are much, much, much better off per Purchasing something like an iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 12, maybe even an iPhone 11 over the iPhone SE 3 if I'm being honest. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.